Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Not too long ago, I did a video on how to carry with confidence, meaning that if you're new to concealed carry, how can you carry with confidence? One of the things that I brought up was training. I am a very firm believer in training. So in this video, I want to speak about simulation training, specifically computer sim training that you can get at a training facility or a range that is equipped for it. Why am I a big believer in it? Because A, they can throw so many different scenarios at you, it isn't even funny. B, you get to do things that you're never going to do on a range. And C, you're going to experience things that hopefully you will never experience or witness in your life. So, let's walk through this. I went ahead, scheduled time at a range that had it, and uh, made sure that there was an instructor present. They're like, really, Matt, you want to have an instructor? I'm like, absolutely. And spoke with the guy, and, and he said, well, you know, what's your motivation for this? I'm like, I want honest feedback, and I want to verify that my skill set has not diminished in any way, shape, or form, and so let's just get going. So, you get to walk into a room that looks like an oversized classroom. There are screens everywhere. And a very expensive projector is projecting an image on these screens. And basically, you have an X that you're standing on. And you get to wear a holster. And for your sidearm, it is a CERT pistol. Now, a CERT pistol, as you might be aware, is a training pistol. And this thing just shoots an infrared laser. And that's it. And this one in particular was set up like a Glock 17, so it's a platform that I'm very familiar with. The great thing about this type of sim-based training is you're carrying concealed. You get to practice the full Monty in real time. So. What the instructor can run you through is he can run you through just something as simple as a pop-up target where you just sit there and you go pew, pew, pew. And then he looks at the results, evaluates them, talks to you about it. If you need any suggestions, he'll give them to you. Not a problem. From that point, you can move on to shoot, no shoot situations. And that's where it's really good. That's where your judgment comes in. That's where your actual training tends to take shape. And I told the guy, I'm like, throw me everything. I want the full Monty because I really did. And so you basically see scenarios where you're faced with a threat or somebody else is faced with a threat. You have a choice to make. And because of the way that the computer program is set up, it can play out in a variety of ways based off of your actions and reactions. And that's the great thing when it comes to judgment. And it can also throw things at you so quickly that uh, suddenly everything that you've done at the range gets thrown completely out the window. And by that, Let's take, for example, when you are drawing your sidearm. How many people are taught that you draw, you come up like this, you marry your hands together, you present out after you've extended, then once you're sure your finger goes on the trigger, you stage the trigger, and then you press. Okay. In a real life situation, by that time, you're dead. Seriously, I'm not joking. If you take that much time, you are dead. So, that's why sim based training is absolutely great because the way that some of these things went down was literally in milliseconds. And the other thing is, you get to verbalize just like you would if you were in that real situation. So you've got a holster and you recognize that threat that's up there. And the first thing that you can do is you can go stop. Just like that. 
you get your hand up in the air, stop, I'm armed, drop your weapon. The problem is a lot of people have trouble verbalizing that and speaking or yelling at somebody. So you're going stop and at about that time you see the weapon turn in your direction. Do you have time at that point to immediately come back, marry, push out? No. You've still got the hand up here. The hand is retreating as this rolls into action and you're firing. It can happen just that quick. And that's what I really, really like about these simulations. You see other things where you're talking to that individual and they go ahead and they drop whatever it was. Another great thing is you get to do an after action report where after every simulation, the instructor will ask you, okay, what was in your mind when you did that? He's going to be able to roll back on the screen exactly where, where your shot placements were at, talk to you about anything that was in the background, and ask you if there was any other way that you could mitigate the circumstance. And, you know, it's, it's great. I absolutely love that type of simulator-based training because, you know, you, you still get to move around, you know, just like this. You know, you're, you're basically getting off of that X. You're able to engage, you know, and tell people, you know, stop, don't do that. Um, but you get to make a decision and it's extremely realistic. I remember one sim in particular where I'm moving around and I'm like this and I'm moving over like this, you know, I'm not up and presented like this. Instead, you know, I'm slicing the pie and, you know, I'm doing this basically around every corner and the instructor's like, okay, what were you doing? And I said, I was slicing the pie. I was clearing. I was making sure that there wasn't a threat to here, there, or whatever else. So simulation based training, a definite, two thumbs up, I recommend it to anybody because it will be a very large eye opener if you've never done it before. And for those of you who have done it before, um, great way just to keep the skills, just to keep skills going and to see all these different scenarios that can be thrown at you. I know I'm gonna go back because I love training. So hope that helps. And hey, thanks for watching. Everybody out there, have a good one and please be safe.